there's no need to get tense. Relax, relax, condense. Subscribe, baby, subscribe. As the audio signal leaves the detector tube, it passes through coupling capacitor C20 and enters the grid of the output tube. It's called an output tube because it outputs the fully amplified audio signal that goes to our speaker transformer and voice coil. Output tubes are also called power tubes because unlike the other amplifying tubes, they're designed to amplify power, not voltage. As you'll recall from earlier, Power is measured in watts and is reliant on not just volts, but also current. Wattage is important now because higher current is required to drive a speaker, not voltage. Because of the increased current requirements, the power tube is often the largest tube in a radio. But be careful not to confuse it with the rectifier tube, which outputs a different type of power. Inside, the power tubes are similar to the other tubes, but the grids are aligned differently to have minimum impact on current flow. The power tube in our radio improves performance further with a beam-forming plate. Beam power tubes were originally designed to get around patents for a typical power tube, but the design was so good that they soon became the norm. With a typical tube, electrons that bounce off the screens and plate often don't contribute to current flow. Beam power tubes use the negatively charged beam plate to repel these stray electrons and force them into a concentrated electronic beam. This way, more electrons are conducted from cathode to plate and power output increases. It's sometimes difficult to see the internal structure of a tube without breaking it apart, but in this photo, you can see the very top of the beam forming plates. If you'd like to review or learn more about how tubes function, please see my earlier segments. And be sure to join me for the next video where you'll learn about the output transformer. To stay updated, please subscribe and click the bell. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you soon.